Hey folks, today is September the 18th. It's currently about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to look at doing our prop firm EA. This is going to be our week number one update review here. As you can see right down here, we don't have any current uh, weekly updates for that. So let's go ahead now and take a look and see how we did last week. All right, and there is a bit of information here about the prop firm EA, if you're not familiar with it. And let's go ahead now, and we can come over here to the FTMO site. And as you can see, we can click on metrics here. And we can also up here, it looks like, see the end date. September 27th is going to be when this 14-day uh, trial ends here. So that's until, looks like, the Monday after next week. And our balance at present is $200,608. Let's go ahead and jump in now. All right, so as we can see, this is a swing account type. And still down here, minimum of five trading days. We're only at three at present. So hopefully uh, on Tuesday of next week, we should uh, get a pass on this one as well. Profit target of $10,000 have not hit that yet. We do have some drawdown going into the weekend. So hopefully next week we can look at getting that uh, cleaned up here. But we can come down here. You can see the daily results. The 15th, we earned $124. The 16th, $310. The 17th, $173. So the EA is uh, definitely profiting. So that is a good thing. We just have to uh, be a little patient and see how it handles the drawdown that we currently have. As always, we will take a look at this once we uh, jump into the... Actually, I think these are... Let me see. Okay, so this isn't our drawdown. We'll take a look at that once we jump into the VPS, though. It's always uh, pretty clear to, to see it there. All right, as always, before we jump into the v, uh, VPS, let's go ahead now and take a look at the news for the week. Monday, we didn't have any uh, anything that could really impact us there. Tuesday, core CPI. Wednesday, we had Canadian CPI, GBP CPI. NZD GDP, Australian employment change. We uh we trade quite a few currency pairs with the prop firm EA. All right, um, USD core retail sales, Philly Fed manufacturing index, and Friday nothing really there. All right, let's go ahead now, jump in, and take a look here. All right, so as you guys can see, prop firm EA smiley face. I like to just make sure that everything, we don't have any errors on our charts here. And we have all smiley faces. That's what we like to see. All right, so everything is uh, looking clean there. And as you can see, we do have four trades open going into the weekend. Where are we at here? AUD Swiss Frank, CATS was Frank, and EuroCAD all gave us quite a bit of negative going into the weekend but this is a two hundred thousand dollar account and we only have a thousand dollar well one thousand and ninety six dollars in drawdown and if you recall we can come back over here and max permitted loss you can see here we still have nineteen thousand five hundred and eleven to go with that and on the daily permitted loss we still have eight thousand nine hundred and three dollars and kind of a buffer before we uh reach our limit on that. I'm pretty sure it's what a $10,000 daily permitted loss and a $20,000 max loss. Let's come up here and see. And we'll go back. All right, so that information is probably on the other page, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. $10,000 max loss and 20,000 permitted loss here. Yep, here it is. Max daily loss ten thousand. Max overall loss twenty thousand, with a profit target of ten thousand dollars. So, at present, we're currently at uh, six hundred and eight, and we do, like I said, have drawdown. So, hopefully, going into next week, we'll be able to uh, clear up that drawdown, and as well, go ahead and make some strong profits to uh, get us to where we need to be. And let's see what we have over here. I've never actually uh, taken a look at this information. 
All right, so it shows equity, max drawdown, all-time profit, lot size, magic number, trend intensity, open trade profit, stop loss. All right, so just information about the trades and such. All right, now I want to really take a look and see how the vendor did this week. I know on their sales page here, they do now have a, where's that, my Facebook account. All right, I know they did pass the challenge, but they also recently opened up a $100,000 live account you can see up here it says real and you can see there real once 100 and I believe for our account here they only allow 1 to 30 let me come back here I'm pretty sure it's 1 to 30 we'll take a look at that before I exit before I end the uh, video here let me see if they say it on this page nope alright let's go ahead and head back here and see how they did all right, as you can see, this week they earned 0.33%. Let me see if they traded the whole week. When did they get started? All right, so it looks like 8.25, so 9.9. Nine. And that was, all right, so last Thursday. So they have traded about one week, it looks like. And they were able to earn 0.33%. So hopefully we can get, uh, get that profit up some, especially... If we're going to be looking at, you know, passing, where is it at? Typically, they show it on this page. This is the vendor's uh, website here, but they typically also talk about the leverage they let you use here. I'll tell you what, let me go to FTMO. Let's go to their website. Give me one second. All right, had to do a little bit of searching here. So here's the regular FTMO accounts. You can see 1 to 100 leverage and the FTMO swing accounts 1 to 30 leverage. And I had to do a little bit of searching because on their homepage right here, I actually didn't find any information on swing accounts. All of this, FTMO challenge, verification, FTMO trader. So yeah, they don't have anything about that that I can see on the actual homepage. So I had to do a quick search but we were able to find it and obviously we're allowed to trade during news periods and also we're allowed to hold trades over the weekend and that is a big deal for us because obviously we have trades open going into the weekend so hopefully uh, the vendor can increase that profitability here we can come over here and this is the telegram chat you can see here facts for prop firm EA and they mentioned something about the profitability all right, why is the EA not trading as frequently or making as much profit as the last update? The reason for this is because our main goal is to maintain a below 5% drawdown while still hitting the 10% profit requirements required by funding firms. However, we must understand that this can be cannot be solely achieved by only testing phases as each client is using a different capital from what we use. Therefore, we asked for this 14-day demo period with our new update to better understand how we can achieve the drawdown of a low risk setting and the profit of a high risk setting all in one while still keeping it user friendly. All right. And they mentioned somewhere that they were going to be releasing an update. Let me see here. We want to mention not to worry about the low profits from the EA might be having this due to the low risk settings. However, in the coming weeks, we will be announcing instructions on changing the lot sizes and time frame to meet your profit targets. For now, please continue to test the EA until the 14 day period, excuse me, 14 day period is done and stay tuned to our Telegram and other social media platforms. All right. We will also be releasing prop firm my Facebook, which they have done. So that kind of gives us an idea that even though things are kind of running a little slow right now, I think this is the vendors. Let me get back to mine. So even though things are running a little slow, we only have, you know, $608 and they actually require quite a bit more profit than that. Um, hopefully at some point they will give us some new settings that can uh, kind of turn things up a little bit so that we can hopefully reach these goals. metrics hold on one moment there it is and a goal is to hit ten thousand dollars so that's what we're trying to hit so they're definitely gonna have to make some changes and this is one reason why I guess they wanted us to do that 14-day demo so that we can uh, test until they get it right 
because once they give us the right settings and we go through the 14 day trial and we see that it's able to meet all these requirements, then we just bump it over to this right here, the FTMO challenge 200 K. Then we can uh, go ahead and jump over there and uh, look at passing it and we shouldn't have too many issues, hopefully. Anyway, just rambling on at this point. So if you have any questions whatsoever on the prop firm EA, you can send those to me and I'll try to get those answered for you. Uh, if you want to test it out for yourself, make sure you guys use the link below to help support the channel. And like I said, hopefully over the coming weeks, we'll, uh, we'll see some positive things out of this. This uh, has the potential to help a lot of people if they can get it to, to work properly where it can meet those requirements. So you guys will be able to follow me on this uh, little journey here to see if I can reach that $200,000 funded account. So this is kind of the very beginning. So we'll take it slow and we'll see uh, if we get there. Take care. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you on the next update.